Hello, uh, in this video uh, I would like to explain how to uh, create a table uh, using Microsoft uh, SQL Server. So specifically we're going to uh, do the three things. The first, uh, uh, we're going to create a schema, uh, schema name HR, and then within that schema uh, we're going to create a table uh, employee and using a uh, graphical user interface. And then we're going to use a uh, GUI, uh, graphical user interface, to generate a uh, data definition, uh, data definition script uh, for the employee table, and then we're gonna save it uh, somewhere, uh, such as a Word file or any text editor, and then uh, we're gonna drop the table and then recreate it uh, using data definition script uh, uh, saved uh, previously. Uh, in this video, uh, let me show you how to uh, create a schema and also create a table uh, within uh, the schema. Uh, first, uh, uh, we need to uh, open a uh, editor window. Um, so unless it is already opened, uh, uh, let's try to uh, open it first. So can you find a new query uh, button over here? So why don't you click it? So and then it will generate a, uh, a new editor window. You can open as many as you want, or if you have too many, also you can uh, close it by clicking uh, this button. So anyhow, so let's create a schema. So create a schema. Uh, well, what about what else we need? Uh, create schema and the schema name. How about accounting? So once you type that up, uh, you need to execute it. So can you see that execute button? So you can execute it. If it is successful, it will show you your commands are completed successfully. So once it's created, uh, let's make sure it is actually created uh, uh, in your database. So go to your database. Can you find the security over here? And then open the security folder. And you're going to find the schema. Schema over here. And, uh, uh, and then uh, you should be able to find uh, the schema you just created. Uh, Actually, if you do not see it, uh, you need to refresh it. Uh, to refresh it, uh, go to a schema, click the schema, and press the right mouse button, and then refresh. So if you refresh it, uh, you're going to see uh, the schema uh, you need to you create. It, uh. Uh, if you don't see it, uh, there was something wrong, you may want to recreate it. Okay. So let's also let's try to drop a schema. Um, how it works. So if you want to drop schema, just say drop schema, okay, and then we need to execute it. So, but since we have uh, many uh, SQL uh, uh, code over here, we need to select which one to uh, execute. So, select only this part, and then we can execute it. So it shows uh, it is uh, completed successfully. So let's go to schema and refresh it. And then as you can see here, accounting is not there. Okay. So this time uh, let's create a uh, um, human resource um, schema. So how about HL. So let's just select this one. So it's successfully completed. Uh, so go to schema and then refresh it. So now we have a HR schema. Okay, now we created a schema uh, called HR. So let's create a uh, table employee. Um, so employee table uh, uh, will have a uh, four columns: employee ID, last name, first name, and the salary. And uh, and also we're going to create a, a primary key. Uh, primary key on employee ID. So primary key uh, will function as a uh, unique identifier for each employee. Okay, so to create a table, um, again go to your database and uh, right mouse button. Can you see a new table? Click it. And then they will show you a new table um, creation uh, graphical user interface and uh, if you uh, do not see the property uh, for this uh, a table uh, go to view and then
find the uh, properties window okay and then they will show you uh, properties for this table okay so we're gonna use a uh, uh, table name employee okay and uh, we're gonna create this employee table uh, within HR schema we just created that okay so okay so um, now we uh, specify the employee table and also schema uh, HR so let's uh, enter the uh, column names so MPID uh, as a first column and then uh, we're gonna use a data type int um, there are actually many data types available so let me explain uh, the details of our data types uh, later in a separate uh, lecture okay and the uh, next one uh, last name uh, name and uh, there are many uh, types that we can actually choose uh, for the time being uh, let's use a uh, n varchar n varchar um, you can actually uh, type and then uh, it will show you uh, the possible uh, data types um, the number of characters is totally up to you um, if you have uh, too few and then you're going to lose uh, many people's uh, last names um, also if you choose a uh, too uh, uh, large number uh, you may uh, waste uh, your resources so you have to find the right uh, number of characters uh, you may want to use for the database systems um, so how about 25 uh, okay or well, you can uh, choose uh, something else if you want to okay how about last first name also we're going to use uh, n bar char uh, by the way n bar char and the, var the difference between n bar char and the var char is uh, n uh, bar char yeah, using uh, unicode so let me explain that a little later so how about uh, for the first name for the first name uh, how about 15 uh, number of characters and uh, how about salary Okay, for salary, what else? Money. Okay. All right. Uh, so looking good. And also we're gonna employee. Uh, we're gonna use an employee ID as a unique uh, identifier uh, for this table. And for that one, we need to uh, define a uh, primary key. So can you see a little key sign over here? So why don't you click it? Okay. And then you're gonna have a uh, sign. Uh, with a key icon okay so that is a primary key so um, everything looking good so employee table uh, within HR schema so we have a column names MPID L name F name and the salary okay so once you're all done uh, we need to save it can you see that save employee or control S okay so looks like uh, we successfully uh, completed uh, uh, creating a table so let's um, uh, confirm it so go to your database go to tables and uh, refresh it <coughs> voila uh, we have an uh, employee table uh, correctly defined okay so we uh, successfully created a table a uh, table employee uh, using a graphical user interface so let's uh, uh, create a um, <coughs> SQL code uh, uh, for table definition. Uh, before that, let's look at the uh, uh, hl.employee. Um, okay. So um, if you click that plus sign, uh, they will show you uh, the, some details about the employee table. So we uh, just created uh, four columns. So let's take a look. So as you can see over here, employee ID, last name, first name and salary all successfully uh, created that okay so <coughs> let's take a look at how the uh, actual data table definition uh, SQL code uh, looks like okay go to tables okay I'm sorry go to employee um, right mouse button um, usually if you uh, uh, click uh, the right mouse button you're gonna find a uh, directly related uh, uh, menu items um, for almost uh, any object okay again uh, if you click the right mouse button uh, one of them should be script script table as okay 
for choose that and then another sub menu item is a create to okay and then new query editor window okay so if you click it uh, they will show you actual SQL uh, data definition uh, called uh, on a new uh, editor window okay so let's click it okay so this is actually the, the table uh, definition um, created uh, and generated by your graphical user interface. Uh, so graphical user interface uh, uh, seems to be very convenient, but uh, a lot of times it actually can be very cumbersome. Also, it can take a, uh, a lot of time uh, later on. So usually uh, uh, we uh, save uh, this uh, SQL code uh, and then uh, reuse it uh, later on. So let's do that. So let's make a copy. Let's make a copy of uh, this uh, SQL code, uh, okay, and uh, save it uh, on some uh, text file, uh, like a Word file. So let me save it. So Control C, copy, okay, and then we can go to uh, some uh, uh, tutorial, and then we can save it. So uh, this is uh, how we uh, save the. Our file. Okay. So, how about this? Let's uh, drop it and see how it works. So, okay. Let me drop this table. Uh, to drop table, all you need to do is um, drop table HR employee. Okay. So, we need to execute it. So it's successfully done. Okay. So let's refresh it whether it's really gone or not. So as you can see over here, so the it is gone. Okay. Okay. <coughs> so the uh, the table we just created uh, now is not in the database anymore. <coughs> so let's use a uh, our saved uh, uh, SQL code uh, to recreate the. Uh, I uh, recreate a uh, the employee table. So um, go to your table definition and uh, make a copy of it. Okay, copy, and then go to your database. So let me uh, clean it up. Okay, or you can just uh, start a new query window, uh, whichever you want. So you can just paste it. So now we have a uh, actual SQL code. Uh, um, uh, defined uh, uh, previously. So now we can just uh, execute it. So if you execute uh, this uh, create table uh, data definition uh, statement, um, the table will be recreated. Okay, so execute. So it's a command that's uh, completed uh, successfully. So again, go back to your database and table and refresh it and see whether it's actually created or not. Okay, again, uh, table, right mouse button, and refresh. So it's uh, recreated. Uh, so if you go there and uh, look at the columns, this is exactly the same as uh, the table we defined uh, using graphical user interface. So from now on, uh, we'll, uh, uh, I'll show you actually both ways, uh, one in the graphical user interface and the other one using uh, SQL code. Uh, so initially, uh, a graphical uh, user interface um, uh, may seem uh, easier, uh, but uh, little by little, uh, you may feel SQL code uh, seems actually uh, faster and uh, more convenient uh, later on. Um, well, it really depends on the case anyway. All right, so everything is cool now. So the, uh, for the next uh, uh, video, I will talk about how to enter the data and do some manipulation. Uh, thank you. Bye.